Let the good times roll. What happened to Joe Barbro at the end of Mafia 2? Is he dead? Is he alive? A lot of Mafia game fans are confused about Joe Barbro's fate. Some Mafia game fans speculate Joe died at the end of Mafia 2. Others believe he was killed in Chicago. And the rest believe he became Leo Galante's personal bodyguard and chauffeur. So which one is it? Well, if we take a look at Mafia 2, specifically Chapter 15 per Aspra ad Astra, Joe is last seen exiting the observatory with Vito after Don Carlo Falcone is whacked. Leo tells Vito and Joe that a celebration is in order since the Vinci family now controls all of Empire Bay. Leo tells Vito to come with him since there is more they need to talk about. Vito gets in the car with Leo, and Joe is then ushered to go inside a separate vehicle. Vito asks Leo what is it that he wanted to talk about. However, Leo ignores Vito and remains silent while looking out the window. Then the car Joe is inside makes a sudden right turn and the car Vito and Leo are in continues to drive straight. Vito then turns to Leo and says, Hey! Hey! What the hell is going on? Where are they taking Joe? Leo then says the famous words, Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. Then the camera pans to Vito, who is processing what Leo just said. The ending of Mafia 2 heavily implies Joe Barbaro was killed off-screen by Don Vinci's men. Many Mafia 2 players do not realize Vito and Joe were marked for death once news came out that Henry Tomasino was a rat working for the feds. Vouching for a rat is a serious offense in the Mafia, and it means death. Don Carlo Falcone would not let that slide. Vito jeopardized the entire Falcone crime family when he brought an informant into the family. Also, Vito and Joe started a war in Empire Bay with the Triads fighting the Italians. Many of Don Vinci's men and many of Don Falcone's men were killed by the Triads in retaliation for Mr. Wong's death. Once Leo Galante heard the news of Henry Tomasino's death in Lincoln Park, and the description of two Italian men shooting up the Red Dragon Chinese restaurant in the same day, he quickly put two and two together and realized Vito and Joe were the ones responsible for killing Mr. Wong and his associates in Chinatown. Vito and Joe's actions sparked a war in Empire Bay with the triads attacking both Don Vinci's men and Don Falcone's men. Leo Galante, being Don Vinci's consigliere and good friend, pleaded with Don Vinci to spare Vito's life since Vito saved his life from Don Falcone. Don Vinci, Leo Galante, and Mr. Chu all came to an agreement that Vito would be spared only if he killed Don Falcone, and Joe Barbaro would be the one to take the fall for what happened in Chinatown. This agreement would ensure peace between the Triads and the Italians. This is why it is heavily implied that Joe Barbaro dies in the ending of Mafia 2 off-screen. If we take a look at Mafia 2's game files, it reveals an alternate ending where Joe's death was seen on screen. In the future, I'll make a detailed video discussing every line from this alternative ending, but for now, here is a quick summary. After Leo says, Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. Leo tells Vito that Don Vinci only wants to speak to Vito. Leo and Vinci want to talk to Vito about the future. Joe doesn't figure. That was the deal. Vito saved Leo's life, so Leo saved Vito's life. Don Vinci is prepared to wipe the slate clean by giving Vito a fresh start. Vito is very lucky to be alive after vouching for a rat and starting a war in Empire Bay. Joe, on the other hand, has to make his own peace. Joe has a meeting with Mr. Chu where he will be killed. Somebody has to take the fall for what happened in Chinatown. So Joe is the price for peace between the Triads and the Italians. Leo then ends by saying he is surprised Joe lived this long. Then the car Joe is inside makes a right turn and Joe says, Hey, where you going, guys? The cat house is the other... Oh, fuck! And then Joe gets choked to death. Joe's death is very similar to Carlo's death from the Godfather movie. Both characters get choked to death in a car. In this alternate ending of Mafia 2, Joe Barbaro gets killed by Don Vinci's men. On the other hand, if we take a look at Mafia 3, which takes place 17 years after the events of Mafia 2, Vito Scaletta mentions Joe Barbaro to Lincoln Clay. During the Vito side mission, I need a favor, Vito tells Lincoln that he needs a favor. A city councilman and his friends are responsible for Joe's death, and Vito wants revenge. Vito tells Lincoln that it took him 12 years and a lot of money to find the people responsible for Joe's death. According to Vito, a couple of these individuals sold Joe out when he came to them looking for help. These people are now in New Bordeaux because Don Salmarcano takes whoever the commission sends him and makes them part of his organization. Vito tells Lincoln to kill five people responsible for Joe's death. Lucky, Nestor, Polly, 
Luca, and Dario. After Lincoln kills all five individuals, Vito tells Lincoln that Joe and him tried to do something big for Leo Galante, which was to kill Don Carlo Falcone. However, after killing Don Falcone, it all went south, and Vito and Joe got screwed by Leo. For a couple years, Vito didn't know if Joe was dead or alive. Vito found out Joe died four to five years after he got sent down to New Bordeaux. He had a source from Empire Bay that one of Vinci's men that was in the car with Joe that day was running his mouth when he was drunk. He was rambling on about some loudmouth that Leo wanted to whack. This same loudmouth broke his front teeth and cracked his eye socket. According to Vito, that loudmouth was Joe, and he escaped the car ride with Vinci's men by fighting his way out. Joe managed to get loose and was on the run for a while. He went to Chicago thinking a couple of guys up there could help him. Instead, they turned on him, beat the crap out of him, cut his hands off, and smashed his face to hell. When it was over, they didn't leave much for anybody to find. Lincoln then asks Vito if he is sure that this man who got tortured and killed in Chicago was in fact Joe. And Vito responded by saying, if Joe were still alive, then he would have found me by now. So according to Vito Scaletta, Joe Barbaro is dead. Now most Mafia 3 players believe Joe Barbaro is dead because Vito tells Lincoln multiple times that Joe was killed. However, that is not true. In the ending of Mafia 3, after Don Salmarcano dies, Lincoln exits the casino and is greeted by Leo Galante. The interesting thing to note here is Leo Galante's chauffeur is Joe Barbaro. For people who don't believe me, here is the head model of the chauffeur. It is literally named Male Head 3 Joe. And if we compare it to Mafia Definitive Edition's Joe head file, it is a match. The eyebrows, nose, lips all match. Also, if we take a look at the official Mafia game Twitter account, it is confirmed that this is in fact Joe Barbaro in the ending cutscene of Mafia 3. According to Hangar 13 and Mafia Game Lore, the canon ending of Mafia 2 is Joe Barbaro joins the Vinci family because the war with the Triads caused Vinci to lose a lot of men. Vito was exiled from Empire Bay and transferred to New Bordeaux to work for Sal Marcano. The reason Vito was exiled is because it was part of a deal negotiated between Leo Galante, Frank Vinci, and Mr. Chu after Vito and Joe massacred a large portion of the Triads and started a war in Empire Bay. The agreement was Vito would be exiled to New Bordeaux to work for a different family, and Joe would join the Vinci family and stay close to Leo at all times. It seems Don Frank Vinci did not want both Vito and Joe in his family since he knows both of them cause trouble when together. It seems in Mafia 3, Leo Galante replaced Pepe Costa, his previous personal bodyguard and driver, with Joe Barbaro. In conclusion, Joe Barbaro is alive and well. He does not die in the ending of Mafia 2. Instead, he becomes Leo Galante's personal bodyguard and driver. Unfortunately, Vito still believes Joe is dead and that he got brutally murdered in Chicago. Vito's reasoning is, if Joe were still alive, then he would have contacted Vito during the past 17 years. It is most likely that the loudmouth who got tortured and killed in Chicago was none other than Eddie Scarpa, underboss to Don Carlo Falcone. After Don Falcone's death, it would make sense for Don Vinci to take out the underboss for the Falcone crime family to ensure no future retaliations. In my opinion, Hangar 13 did a very poor job at explaining Joe's fate in Mafia 3. Gamers were confused because Vito said Joe was dead, and the cameo of Joe was very short. Joe should have had a longer cameo, and Leo should have said something to acknowledge his name. The outfit Joe wears in Mafia 3 is very similar to the one he wears in the winter section of Mafia 2. The cap, coat, tie, and vest are very similar. A lot of Mafia game fans were disappointed by Mafia 3's reference to Joe and want proper closure to Vito and Joe's story. Who knows, maybe Mafia 4 or Mafia 5 will be about Vito and Joe reconnecting. The story could also include Lincoln Clay, if Joe Barbaro really is Lincoln's biological father. The many reasons why people believe Joe is Lincoln's father is because in Mafia 3, when Leo gets out of his car to speak to Lincoln, he looks at Lincoln and then back at Joe. Perhaps Leo saw a resemblance between the two. And in the very first cutscene of Mafia 3, Father James says Lincoln's mother was Dominican and his father was white, possibly Italian. Also, in Mafia 2's Joe's Adventures DLC, Joe goes down south for five years to escape Luca Garino. It is possible Joe traveled to New Bordeaux during the five years he was away. I guess we will have to wait and see what awaits the Mafia game franchise. As always, thank you for watching.
and make sure to send this video to anyone that still believes Joe Barbaro is dead.